huge welcome back to SML Kids at Home. We are on episode three and we are so excited that you are joining us today. This is Will and this is Sam. And together we are going to be exploring the Bible through games, challenges and activities. We are on our third week of looking at the Holy Spirit and today we are looking at purpose. So I'm going to pray as we begin. Father God, thank you that you are always with us. Lord Jesus, I pray that you would help us to understand what it is that you are saying to us today. In your precious name, Amen. Okay, now let's go over to Will and Sam and see what they've been up to this week. Welcome back SML Kids to this week's Will vs Sam Challenge. Now, you'll remember that on the first week I won, and on the second week I also won. So um, I guess we're all excited to see me win again. Hee <laughs> hee. This week, we're going to be have a challenge to see who can sort the most Skittles by colour in 60 seconds. Now, Will, are you ready? Yeah, I've been practising all sorts to get ready this week. Sam, are you ready though? I'm ready. Have a go and see how many skittles you can sort in 60 seconds. Send them in to us so we can pop them in next week's video. Now we're going to have a look at a little clip. Come back later and see if you can guess what happens next. like it was going to be a really funny video. I don't know what I think is going to happen next. Either he's going to face part or he's going to break out into song. I reckon he'll probably sing Get Your Head in the Game from uh, High School Musical. Anyway, now we're going to do a bit of worship. Now worship is one of my favourite things and it's one of God's favourite things. He loves it when we worship and we can worship in so many different ways. Can you think of any? Find some space, stand up, sit down, think of some dance moves, or just wiggle your body. But we are going to worship and praise God together. In my wrestling and in my doubts, in my failures you won't walk out. Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. Whoa, you are the peace in my troubled sea. In the silence, you won't let go. In the questions, your truth will hold. Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. You are the peace in my troubled sea My lighthouse, my lighthouse Shining in the darkness, I will follow you, Lord My lighthouse, my lighthouse I will trust the promise You will carry me safe to shore
You're the brightest You will lead us Through the storms Far before us You're the brightest You will lead us Through the storms Hey! Far before us You're the brightest You will lead us Through the storms Far before us You're the brightest I'm going to tell you our Bible story today, and it comes from Matthew 28, verses 18 to 20. And today's story comes about 40 days after Easter. Jesus had died, he had come back to life again, and was now about to go to heaven. But just before he did this, Jesus had one final thing to say to his disciples. So he got them all together and they went for a walk up a mountain because that's where Jesus would like to have his meetings. And Jesus told the disciples that all power and authority in heaven and on earth had been given to him. Therefore they should go into every nation around the world and make disciples. That they should baptise the people in the name of the Father, Son and Holy Spirit. That they should obey everything that Jesus had taught them and he reminded them that his Holy Spirit went with them wherever they went. Now let's head over and look at a craft that you can make at home. <laughs> of the Great Commission. Commission is a bit of a funny word, isn't it? But it was like Jesus was sending the disciples on a mission to make more friends of Jesus, to make other disciples. He sent them to the whole world to do that. And they didn't have to do it on their own because they had the helper with them. Do you remember the Holy Spirit, the helper we looked at last week? But surely Jesus can't want us to go and tell everyone in the whole world all about him. But we have the helper, the Holy Spirit with us too. Now, imagine that this is you and this is somebody else who doesn't know about Jesus and you live here and they live all the way over here. How on earth would you tell them? You don't even know them. Now imagine that you tell someone, who tells someone else, who tells someone else, who tells somebody else, who tells someone else about Jesus, who tells two people and someone else and someone else and someone else and then suddenly, look what happens. Isn't that amazing? You told one person and the person all the way over here knew about Jesus. I think that's amazing. And imagine if you told two people or three people even. Now 
as Christians, the Holy Spirit is always with us and the Holy Spirit helps us in so many different ways. The Holy Spirit can help us to be wise. The Holy Spirit can help us to feel safe. The Holy Spirit can comfort us. The Holy Spirit can help us feel closer to God as well, which I think is amazing. And sometimes telling other people about Jesus can be a little bit hard and a little bit tricky. But you know, when we feel like that, we can pray. We can pray that we would know God with us in that moment, that he would help us tell other people. And the Holy Spirit helps us in so many other different ways as well. But we'll look at that more next week. Now we're going to pray. Father God, thank you that you are always with us. Lord, thank you that you love us so, 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 so much. Lord, I pray that you would help us to be more like you. And Lord, help us to tell others all about who you are. In your precious name, Amen. Now let's head over to Sam, who has our memory verse for today. So now we're going to be having a look at this week's memory verse. And the memory verse for this week comes from Matthew chapter 28, verse 18. And it says, therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptising in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Now, I've got a little game for this. And basically what, you, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick some jumbled up bits of the Bible verse on this wall. And then I'm going to run across the garden and stick them on there as fast as I can. And I might even do it while hopping. Now, let's go and see what happened next in the video. kick his ball all the way over the other side of the house and catch it. I know that I definitely couldn't do that. Thank you so much for joining us today. We've had such an amazing time with you. Don't forget to head over to smrkids.org where you will find the lesson plan that runs alongside this video. There's loads more crafts, activities, and we unpack the teaching a little bit more over there. So head over and check it out. Before we go, I'm going to pray for us. Father God, thank you that you were always with us. Lord Jesus, thank you for your Holy Spirit. Thank you that it is our comforter, Lord Jesus, that never leaves us, that it helps us to be wise. And Lord, I pray that we would have an amazing rest of the week. In your name, amen.